My name is Brendan Smith, I am the Brewing Sailor, and this is another Hangover Free Review. Let's get into it. Hi everybody, welcome back to Hangover Free Reviews. I am your host, the Brewing Sailor, Brendan Smith, and whether you're trying to live a sober lifestyle, or just cut back on your booze, this is the place to come because we are the show that helps you moderate your booze, not your brews. Tonight, we're doing a request from a viewer, Josh Staples. This review is for you. You wanted to see me, my take on Athletic Freewave, so here we go. For those of you who might be your first time watching or just need a little refresher, we review beers here according to the Beer Judge Certification Program. Today, we are using Style Guidelines 21C, the Hazy IPA. And what this does is it allows beer judges at competitions to judge beers according to style. So we're judging Hazy IPAs versus Hazy IPAs. We're judging Blondes versus Blondes and Stouts versus Stouts to make it a nice level playing field. Each style has guidelines that covers appearance, aroma, flavor, mouthfeel, and the overall impression of the beer. And you get awarded points for these categories based <clears throat> on these guidelines. For appearance, you can earn three points, aroma 12 points, flavor 20 points, mouthfeel five points, and the overall impression, you can earn 10 points for a total out of 50. A good beer, or I should say an average beer, it's about 25 to 30. A good beer is 30 to 35. A very good beer is 35 to 40. 40 and above is excellent, and 45 and above is a world-class representation of the style. So let's dive right in with our athletic free wave. Let's get this poured up. So a couple things we're looking for on a hazy IPA, uh, according to the style guidelines, we're looking for the color to be straw to light amber and have an orangey hue. Uh, and we do have that here. Uh, we have a nice golden uh, orange color to it. Uh, we're looking for, on the head, we're looking for a thick meringue-like head that has good uh, head retention, which we do have here as well. But the one thing you notice here for a quote-unquote hazy IPA, I don't know if you can tell this, but that's pretty clear. Um, I mean, it's not filtered, but a lot of the, if there was haze in that beer, it fell out. Um, and that's a pretty big knockoff because you're calling this beer a hazy IPA, so that's a pretty big deduction. I'm going to take away a point and a half for that. Uh, so we're going to give 1.5 out of 3 on appearance. A hazy beer should be opaque. Um, this is not that. So 1.5 out of 3 on appearance. Let's move on to aroma. For aroma, we're looking for intense hop aroma with a lot of tropical stone and citrus notes. On the malt, you're looking for grainy, bready. It shouldn't be caramely or toasty. And for the yeast, we're looking for esters that are going to be fruity and complement those hop flavors. We're not going to look for spicy phenols. Um, it shouldn't have any off aromas uh, like dimethyl sulfate or diacetyl or anything like that. Okay, so I'm definitely getting tropical and citrus on the hop notes, and it is very strong. I'm getting a light grainy malt aroma, so those are all good. And if there are yeast esters there, they do complement the hops. They don't clash, so we're good there. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 12 on this. Uh, I, I, I think it could be just a little bit more uh, on the aroma. It could just have a little bit more pop. It's very good, just not perfect. Let's dive in and see how she tastes. So, once again, the hop flavor, the fruity, tropical citrus notes are dominating here. With the malt, we get a little light grainy malt, uh, just like we did on the aroma. Um, but it's really kind of taking a backseat to the hops, which it should for this style. And on the bitterness, it's slightly more bitter than I would expect from a hazy IPA. Uh, not so much as a West Coast, but still 
a, a little bit more bitter, a little better balanced, I think, than most West Coast, but still um, a little, little surprising for the style. I still think it's very good. I'm going to give it a 16 out of 20. Mouthfeel. Mouthfeel should be medium to medium full on hazy IPAs. This comes off more as a medium light, and, and I think that's because whatever haze might have been in this beer when it first left the brewery, it's not here now. I don't know if it fell to the bottom of the can, but I did pour it hard, so any haze that was in the can should have ended up in the glass. But because of that lack of turbidity, or which is just a fancy word for haze that we use in the brewing industry, um, because of that lack of turbidity, uh, you don't have that haze in there. I think it is taking away something from the mouthfeel. As far as the carb, so it ends up more medium light, I should say, than, than medium or medium full. And I'm going to knock a point off for that. As far as the carb, it's a nice smooth carb. Um, so there's no problem there. It's a medium carbonation. It's not super uh, effervescent like you'd see in, like say, a Berliner Weiss or a Pilsner or things like that. So we'll give it four out of five on mouthfeel. We're just going to take that one point off for the, the fact that it's just not quite enough there. Overall, it's a very aromatic and very flavorful IPA. And that at least in can, like maybe if we had it at the brewery or if we had it on draft somewhere, um, which, you know, hey, Athletic is getting their draft program rolling, so that may happen sooner rather than later. It, it doesn't quite in can live up to the hazy name. But it's still a very flavorful, very aromatic IPA. We're going to give it a 7 out of 10. So that's going to score 38.5 out of 50. So even though there were some deductions there on appearance and mouthfeel, this is still a very good beer and a very flavorful one. In fact, I like it better than I scored it. And remember, when I'm scoring, I have to score to the guidelines. And so if there's something not there, I've got to pull some points away. But those very deductions are kind of the reason why I personally like it more. I'm not a huge hazy fan. I'm not a huge uh, fan of hazy beers in general, let alone, you know, not just hazy IPAs, but just about any hazy. I prefer my beers clear. So this being a little bit more clear works in my favor. Also, I prefer beers to be a little bit more bitter and a little bit more balanced. Um, or if they are going to be out of balance, I should say, I prefer air to the bittering side. So that also plays to my tastes as well. And on a personal note, they use Mosaic Amarillo and Citra hops in this beer, according to their website. And that's the exact same combination of hops I used in the first hazy IPA that I brewed professionally, uh, which was called Return of the Mac. Uh, so M-A-C, Mosaic Amarillo, Citra. So that kind of just tugs at my heartstrings a little bit and makes me want to like it. Where does this beer fall on my personal scale? It's going to be a regular rotation beer. It's a great IPA. Uh, you know, take the hazy word out of it and just call it an IPA. It's a great IPA. It's got great flavor, great aroma. It's reasonably priced, and you can get it everywhere. So it makes it easy to find its way into my fridge all the time. That's all the time I have for today, folks. Uh, before I go, I would like to invite you to like the video, hit that subscription button, turn it from red to gray, hit the notification bell, let YouTube's algorithm know you want to see my videos when they drop. And of course, please leave a comment before you go. I love your feedback. Love to hear what you're thinking. And if you want to see a beer review like Josh did, just ask me. I'll get to it eventually. I'm a little late on it. I meant to do this for 4th of July. We're almost doing it in August. But Josh, I apologize, but we're getting it done for you. So folks, that's all I got for today. Thanks very much. Pop back next week. We're going to be looking at a beer from Untitled Art and a beer from Deschutes. We're going to do the Black Butte next Saturday for our long review. Have a great week, everybody. Sláinte.